and today I'm going to be filming a story time video. You guys really liked my previous story time, the time I almost died on a plane. I'll link it down below. Let's jump right in. So this story occurred a day before Coachella and I wanted to look A1 at the festival. I just want to look good because I knew everyone else there would be looking good and yeah. So my outfits, they were bomb, like I like shaved my legs and stuff for this. So like you know it's important when you like shave your legs. So there were three things that I wanted to do before I went. So one, I wanted to get acrylics. Two, I wanted to get my eyebrows threaded. And three, I wanted to get a white henna because yes, I'm a white girl and yes, I'm a basic bitch. And me being the lazy ass, leaving it to the last day ass girl that I am, I didn't get around to doing any of these until like the day before we left. By the day before we left, I mean like 8 p.m. You see, what I had planned on doing was coming home from school, going to the nail salon, and then me and my mom were gonna go to Venice Beach to get a henna tattoo, cause I didn't know where else to get a henna tattoo. Like, it was 8 p.m. on a Wednesday night. I know Coachella was on Friday, but me and my manager in my like, garage, we left a day earlier. And you see, henna artists aren't really giving hennas to people at 8 p.m. on Wednesday nights at Venice Beach. So I got back from school on Wednesday and I said I'd take a 15 minute nap. I woke up at 8 p.m. and I hadn't done anything so I was like holy guac like freaking hell what do I do like it's 8 p.m. I didn't I was stressing. Like I knew that a henna tattoo was like the most important out of the three because like you could see it in pictures and videos and I don't know, like, fit the vibe, I guess. So I was like, okay, like, I can't go to Venice Beach at 8 p.m. I don't want to die today. Like, I'll just look up, like, a tattoo parlor that does hennas or some, some something like that. I yelled, henna artist and near me. And, uh, like, a few things popped up. They were all closed. They were all, like, closing at 7 p.m. And it was, like, 8.30 by this time. And then I found this one guy on Yelp. And it was, like, henna artist, we can come to you. Or something like that. Like, henna artist that came to your house that did your henna. Which is kind of sketchy. I knew I was going to get ripped off. Because every henna artist knows it's Coachella the day after. And especially when you're calling them at 8 p.m., like asking for a henna, they're gonna rip you off. He was like a Mexican man, and he answered the phone, and he was like, yeah, like, I'll do it for like, okay, Mexicans don't speak in a British accent, I don't know where that came from. He was like, yeah, like, I'll do it, like, for 250 And I was like, two when He was like, 250 like, why does my Mexican man keep speaking in a British accent? I don't understand. He was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it for $250. And I was like, Miguel, like, bruh, like, Come on. Yeah, like, I can't do it for 250 I was like, yeah, but, like, I don't want to give you 250 He was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it for, like, 100 First of all, how did the price go from 250 to 100 Miguel? And he was like, I'll have to charge you, like, an extra $20 to, like, come to your house. And I was like, Miguel, like, on your Yelp it says you only come to houses. Now you're charging me extra money for coming to my house as if I, like, it's, like, my personal... Order. He was like, okay, then you can come to where I am and I'll give you a uh, henna. And I was like, Miguel, I don't know you. I ain't about to come to you, okay? I talked to my mom and my mom was like, okay, like, we can meet at, like, a public place to, like, get the henna so it won't be, like, sketchy. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, you're right. Like, thanks, mom. Like, why can't I have some of that brain? I'm Turkish, so, like, I bargain because that's like in my jeans. So I was like, okay, like $80, we're doing this. And he was like, okay, yeah, like $80 is fun. Miguel doesn't talk like that, but I, I don't know how Miguel talks at this point anymore. I kind of want to forget about Miguel. Miguel is the henna artist. Did I mention that? Okay. It's 9 p.m. by now, and Miguel sends me like the address of the place he's at. Miguel is in South Central. For those of you that have no idea about uh, Los Angeles, which I don't blame you, at this point, I did not know what type of place South Central was. South Central is not the right place to be at 9 p.m. on a Wednesday night. I did not know that. My mother did not know that. So we hopped into our Jeep Cherokee and we were driving to South Central and things started getting sketchier and sketchier and at one point we were scared. We did not care about Miguel. We did not care about the henna. We cared about getting back home. It was scary. It was dark. There were sketchy people around. And by sketchy, I mean like gangs. 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 
McDonald's. OMG, Haley, you're such a drama queen. <laughs> we were gonna meet at a McDonald's, and so then the GPS was like, yeah, just like turn right and you'll be there in two minutes. My, my GPS doesn't talk like that. And then my mom was like, okay, like we've come this far. Let's just get your freaking henna tattoo and get out of here. And I was like, okay. So then we park at the McDonald's parking lot. The customers there weren't that nice. Let's just say nice. So then I text Miguel and I'm like, yo, Miguel, like we're here. Like where you at? And he's like, oh, like, I'm on my way, like, don't worry, I got you. Like, ten minutes passed, and we were just, like, in the parking lot. I was just, like, looking at Miguel's, like, work that he'd done before on Yelp, and, like, I was like, ooh, that one's nice, that one's nice, like, everything looked pretty legit. And I was, like, so excited, I was like, yeah. I might die tonight, but at least I'll have, like, a cool henna tattoo, like, yeah. So, like, 20 minutes roll by 25, and I'm like, yo, Miguel, like, where you at, dude, like, where yet? Five minutes later, I get a text and he's like, oh, I parked here. And then like me and my mom, like we see him. He's like this little like short Mexican guy. He's like, hey, like Miguel. And I'm like, it's Miguel. Maybe I shouldn't have said his name. Oh, well, just kidding. His name's not Miguel. And he's like, you want a black Hannah, right? I was like, no, I want a white one. Like we talked about this on the phone, Miguel. <laughs> Why are you asking me this, Miguel? And he's like, Oh. And he was like, okay, like, I got you. You guys can just go inside and wait. Me and my mom, like, we walk into McDonald's and everyone's just like, and we're just like. So then Miguel comes in, he sits across from me, and Miguel pulls out a tube. And by tube, I don't mean like, you know, the tubes that hennas come in. I've gotten many hennas before, guys. I live in Dubai, my mom used to give me hennas. Like, that's how much, like, I've had hennas, okay? That's, that, okay. This thing, it's not a henna tube. You know what it is? You know, like, when you use pen and you mess up, so you pull out a tube from your pencil case to, like, fix it? You know, like, white out. White out. Miguel pulled out a tube of white out. It said, big on it. Big. Big. I'll put an image of what Miguel pulled out right here. So Miguel pulls this out and I'm like, is this it? He was like, yeah, yeah, like don't worry, like this is, I, I, I've done this like so many times before. Again, Miguel doesn't talk like that, I just, I, okay. And then I'm like, Miguel, like, are you sure about this? He was like, yeah, yeah, like, I got you, bro, like, trust me. I'm like, okay, Miguel. So I give him a hand, and he's like, and the thing, the henna, the white henna, it's dried out. So, like, Miguel has to go over it a couple times. And I'm like, this isn't working, Miguel. I'm like, this isn't working, Miguel. He's like, no, like, it's just the brush. It happens, like, the first time. I mean, like, that's it. He shakes it. He's like, shake it. Miguel, um, you know what I want, right? Like in the text, like I texted you a picture of what I wanted, right? Like you know, like are you do you think you're gonna be able to do what I want with that? And he was like, Well, like, it's not gonna be exactly the same. I'm just gonna let my imagination flow. His imagination is gonna flow. Out of what? That big tube? And I'm like, Miguel, like, we drove here for like 45 minutes and like I'm sure you have another white henna tube or you know he's like this is all i got but i can give you a black one and i was like miguel i don't want a black one i really just really want a white henna right now like and then he's like okay like just like let me do this okay just like give me a second chance and i'm like okay miguel i have a picture don't worry it's coming up and i'm like my mom looks at me and she's like no Haley, like you're gonna regret it and we're gonna end up paying this man 80 dollars for like a kindergarten artwork on your hand. She's saying this to me in Turkish because, you know, that's the power of speaking another language in a foreign country. Um, so I'm like, okay, like, you're right, mother. And I'm like, Miguel, like, I'm sorry that, like, you drove all the way here and, like, I, at this time, but this is really not what I wanted and I don't think you're going to be able to do what I want. Like, I'm really sorry. And I'm kind of mad. I'm also like, this is not what we agreed on, Miguel. And Miguel's like, oh, like, you want me to stop? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. But like, I can really do a black one. I'm like, Miguel! 
<laughs> Shut up, Miguel. I'm going to Coachella tomorrow. He's like, oh, you're going to Coachella? I'll be there. <laughs> I'm like, with what? Your white out tube? I'm going to be giving handouts all day. Like, Tom, I'll give you like a discount. I'm like, Miguel, thank you for your time. Me and my mom need to go. It was nice meeting you. And by the way, that Yelp review, yeah, um, you should have looked forward to it. And I left. I left at McDonald's and I got in the car. This is what my hand looked like. <laughs> okay. I like texted my friends. I was like, yo, this just happened. So then we got back home. I was still laughing. My mom was really mad at me. She was like, hey, Lee, like, I go all the way here for you. Like, you're so stupid. And I was like, mom, like, what do you want me to do? Be a psychic and know what was gonna happen? Like, I trusted Miguel, you know? He, like, ruined my trust. The next morning, I woke up super early and I went to the nail salon. I got my nails done at least. Couldn't get a henna. Anyways, that was the time I got scammed by a henna artist. It was a pretty fun time. Honestly, if I saw Miguel, I'd be like, Yo, thanks for the video idea. If you want more story times, leave a comment down below because they're really fun to film and they're really sad times in my life, but they're really fun to film. Okay, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I love you guys all the way to Pluto and back. Bye!